All right, when you're looking for intercepts, you want to know when this graph is going to cross the x-axis and when it crosses the y-axis, so where it hits it, where it intercepts it. So to do that, this is what we'll do. Uh, usually I split my problem into two and I say this for x intercept, okay, so where it crosses the x-axis, let y equal zero. And here, you can kind of guess what I'm going to write. For y intercept, let x equal zero. Okay. And then now all I have to do is substitute that. It tells you what to do. So for my x intercept, this is what happens. My y is zero, so y is zero equals to 2x plus 6. I have an x to solve for, so let me get this 6 out of the way. Minus 6, negative 6 is equal to 2x, divide by 2, and x is equal to negative 3. So my coordinate for the x-intercept is this. My x is negative 3. My y, you already know your y. You let your y be 0. So that's one coordinate. That's where this graph is going to cross the x-axis. Let's find out where it crosses the y-axis. This time I made my x equal 0. So y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 6. That's gone. I just have y equals 6. And here my coordinate is, remember this time let your x be 0 and your y is 6. And there you have it. You have your y intercept and your x intercept. What about this one? This one says y is equal to x squared minus 4 and they want us to find the intercepts. So same thing, I split it up into two. I let uh, my y equals 0 here for my x intercept and my x equals 0 for my y intercept. So uh, I'm going to do this one first because I already know it's a little bit easier than this one. All right, so let's see what happens y is equal to, my x is 0, so 0 squared minus 4, that's just y is equal to negative 4. So my y intercept is 0, negative 4. Let's look at this one. Here my y is 0, so 0 is equal to x squared minus 4. Hmm. Uh, there's two ways you can do this one. You can move this over, so plus 4, plus 4, 4 is equal to x squared. Now, when you actually take the square root here, uh, you would have to remember that there's a positive and a negative root. So that could be either 2 or negative 2. So your x is either 2 or negative 2, and you get two answers here. 2, 0, and you get negative 2, 0, okay? Uh, most teachers actually won't show you that. They'll have you factor. So, and those are right answers, but what they'll probably have you do is this. They'll have you factor this out. Uh, this is a difference of squares. This is one of the shortcuts. This first term is squared, and the second term is squared, and it's subtracted, so difference of squares. So by taking the square root of both x and 4, which is 2, and writing plus minus, you just factored out that difference of squares. So what does this mean? This means that either this term is 0, so either x plus 2 is equal to 0, or this term is 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. And I solve for both of them. Notice that I get the same thing. So my coordinates are still negative 2, 0, and 2, 0. There. Now, why two answers here? If you actually want to graph this, it would look, I'm just going to make a quick sketch. It would look like this. 
my y-intercept is at 0, negative 4, so right around here is my y-intercept, and you have two of them. So this means that it crosses it twice, here and here. So my parabola, remember it's squared, so this is a quadratic, this is a parabola, does this, okay? And that does make sense, because it comes back up, all right? So there are cases here where you can get two x-intercepts, okay? Or two y-intercepts. All right, go ahead and find the x and y-intercepts of both of these problems. Go ahead and pause the video, because I'm gonna show you the answers in three, two, one. All right, these are the answers. I hope you got them right. All right, here we'll, we'll be testing for symmetry uh, for the x-axis, y-axis, and the origin. Uh, so that means that your graph uh, would kind of have a mirror, okay? Uh, if it's symmetrical about the x-axis, it does this. If it's symmetrical about the y-axis, okay, it flips like this. And the origin, the origin kind of makes it do a diagonal either this way or this way. Uh, now what you need to do is, if, when you're testing for this, you replace, uh, in the x-axis, you replace the y by negative y, and you should get the original equation back. Okay, if you do, then yes, it's symmetrical about the x-axis. For the y-axis, you replace the x with a negative x, and if you get the original equation, it's symmetrical about the y-axis. For the origin, you replace them both x with a negative x and y by negative y. If you get back the original, this is symmetrical about the origin. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, the first one I'll try out is this one, x is equal to y squared. And first, I'll test for the x-axis. So, for the x-axis, I let y equal to negative y. So, let me put that in there. This will say x is equal to negative y squared. Now I know that when a negative number is squared, I get a positive number. So this actually just means y squared. And isn't this the original equation? Yeah. So right now we know that this one is symmetric about the x-axis. Let's try the other ones. So, for the y-axis, I let my x equal to negative x. When I put that in, negative x is equal to y squared. There's nothing I can do. I can't simplify this anymore. Nothing else happens. And I do not have my original equation back. So this is not symmetric about the y-axis. Now we'll test the origin. So origin, let x equal negative x and y equal negative y. So this is gonna say negative x equals negative y squared. Still nothing is happening here. The only thing that happens is on the right side where you do get a y squared but this is still not the original equation. So this is not symmetric about the origin, only about the x-axis. There, so you have to test all three. Let's look at one more. All right, let's go ahead and try this one out. Still testing for symmetry. This one is y is equal to one over x, uh, starting off with my x. So for x axis, let y equal negative y. So negative y equal to 1 over x. Does anything happen here? No. And I don't have my original equation, so it is not symmetric about the x. Now we test our y. For y-axis, let x equal negative x. So y is equal to 1 over negative x. There's nothing else I can do. The only thing I can really do is this. Y is equal to negative one over X. Because um, we actually usually never leave negatives in the denominator. We 
move them up to the numerator and that still does nothing for me because it's not the same so it's not symmetric about the y and now we test our origin let x equal negative x and y equal negative y so negative y equal 1 over negative x uh, once again I'll just move that to the top now this says this has one term on each side negative with a negative if I if I multiply by negative 1 on both sides which is fine I can do that it's a legal move because I'm doing it to both sides I get back y equals 1 over x which is the original equation so yes this one is symmetric about the origin there alright here you'll be testing for symmetry make sure you test all three for the x y and the origin pause the video and I'll show you the answers in three two one here are your answers I hope you got them right. Alright, that's all for today. Until next time.